All right, folks, I finally have the individual player development plans as you folks have been kindly asking me for. Thanks for all the requests. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over the default roster first, and then I'll get into my custom players like Lamina Mall and Victor Roca and so on. I'll do them all. Now, some of the players I'm unsure of, so make sure you consistently check the comment section while I'm gonna put all the best suggestions based on your feedback. And if I create a new Barca player down the line, I'll add their individual development there. And while you're down there, please leave a nice little comment Comment. don't forget to subscribe and like let's get started all right for the goalkeepers i would say mark andre terstegen this one's obvious a sweeper keeper you could do the same with peña but for mark vidal and astralaga i have set those to balanced because i don't know them that well if you have any suggestions let me know in the comment section all right so alejandro balde his main position is a left wing back you can also train him as a right wing back. And once you've trained him both as a left wing back and a right wing back, his personal growth, I would set to attacking wing back. Okay, so Inigo Martinez, this guy easy, center back. You can play him on the left side of the center back position or on the right side of the center back position. And for his personal growth, I have set that as a ball playing defender. Andreas Christensen, also his main position is a center back. He mainly plays on the left side of that center back role. And for his development plan in his personal growth, I have also set him as a ball playing defender. A lot of Barca center backs are ball playing defenders because they build from the back. So Jules Kunde, no need to train him in extra positions. As you can see, he's got the center back and the right back position covered. Now for his individual growth development plan, also ball playing defender. Eric Garcia, also no need to train him in any extra position. He's a center back. Secondary position is a defensive midfielder. And as you can see, his personal growth development is also a ball playing defender. Okay, so here we have a little variation. Ronald Arajo, no need to train him in any additional position. He's a center back, already trained as a backup position for the right back. And his personal development plan is a stopper, which would be kind of equivalent to a destroyer because that's his style. Now, Chatty Wright, as you know, he's gonna be coming back to Barca. For him specifically, as you can see, he's already trained as a center back, right back. But let me know what would be the best personal development plan for him. So for Mamadou Fall, I have said his personal development as balanced. I'm not too familiar with him. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comment section. Mikael Faye, very exciting prospect. Now, I know I said I would do my custom players at the end, but he's in the game so i'm gonna go ahead and cover him early now you can train him as a left back that would be his secondary position does play that but once you do that make sure you train him back as a cb that's his primary position and i currently have him as balance i like to do this with most of the younger players if they're too young because they're still developing in all aspects but after a little bit of maturity i would also set him up as a ball playing defender he's really good at with the ball and the build up play so three, I have as balanced, not too familiar. So if you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments section. Oriel Romeu. Now, there's no need to train him in additional positions. His main position is CDM. And he also plays the center midfield as a secondary position. And for his personal development, you want to set him up as an anchorman. That is the role he plays at Barcelona. All right, Marc Casal. Now, his main position is a CDM. Secondary position is a center midfield. You can also train him as a right back, but it's gonna take kind of forever. I'm personally not doing it. Xavi has used him like one time there, but for his personal growth, I would train him as an anchor man. All right, so Ilke Gundogan. His main position is a center midfield. His secondary position is a CDM. And for his personal growth, you wanna train him as a box to box. The cool thing about Ilke Gundogan is that he can play any position in the midfield. Like if you're using my Xavi tactics, you can set him up as a secondary pivot. That's the role that Frankie De Jong plays or Gavi. Or you can set him up as an anchorman. Xavi's been using him a lot as an anchorman. That would be the role that Romeo is currently playing. But you can also play him in the position that Pedri plays, which would be a more offensive midfielder, but I wouldn't set him up as a cam. I would just set him up as a center midfielder that attacks, he moves forward. 
Okay, Frankie De Jong. Even though we all wish he would be the anchorman, he's not. His main position is an interior midfielder and he's mainly used as a secondary pivot. So that's why his secondary position here is CDM. And for his personal growth, I have set that up as a central midfielder because he's not really a ball winning midfielder. He's actually pretty bad at that. I mean, you could say he's kind of box to box, but he's not a finisher. So if you don't want to invest in that, but if you don't want to go with central midfielder, playmaker would also be an option. In eFootball, he's mainly an orchestrator, and I think that would be kind of similar to playmaker. Okay, so Pedri, as you can see here, not all my players I've, I've finished developing, so it only says he's a center midfielder, but his actual secondary position would be attacking midfielder, and he also plays the left wing forward as his third position, so you can train him for those. But his main position is a center midfielder. And since he's kind of a jack of all trades, I've trained his personal growth as balanced. All right, Gavi. So his main position is a center midfield, and a secondary is a left wing forward, which is kind of deceiving because he really plays more of what Joao Felix is playing, just lies a little bit deeper. So I would actually train him as a center forward if you're using my Xavi tactics, because that's where you would put him. But once you're done with that, for his personal growth, you want to go with ball winning midfielder. That's really characteristic of who he is. So for Moha, I don't really know him very well. So if you have any suggestions for his personal training, please let me know in the comment section. So for Ferran Torres, no need to train him in any extra position. It's already covered, left wing, right wing forward, and a striker. But if you're using the Xavi tactics, you might wanna also train him as a center forward and place him in the Joao Felix role, which is why I am currently training him as an inverted winger. And for Ansu Fati, very similar to Ferran Torres, and his individual growth would be inverted winger. Rafinha, his main position is a right wing forward. And I know Xavi has put him on the left before, but he has actually played pretty badly there. So I wouldn't waste my time putting him on the left just to make it more realistic. I would, however, train his secondary position as a cam. Xavi's placed him there a couple times and he actually plays it pretty well. So if you're using my Xavi tactics, it would be the position where I put Pedri or Fermin Lopez and set it up as Cam. And when you're done with that, for his personal growth, would be a wide playmaker. Now, Joao Felix. No need to trade him in additional positions. Center forward striker and left wing would be the best with his main position being center forward as he plays the secondary forward behind Lewandowski. And for his individual growth, I would set him as a bombardier, which is a deep line forward. Lewandowski, very easy. He only plays the striker position. Maybe when he was younger, he'd play a little bit of the wings, but not anymore. And his individual development plan, very easy. He's a target player. So for Pau Victor, they currently have him as a striker and cam, but he can also play on the left wing forward and the right wing forward. So if you want to train him for those additional positions, that's cool. As far as his individual growth, let me know what you think would be the best one in the comment section. Mark Giu. So his main position is a striker and so far it's his only position. Now for his individual growth, he's really known as a pure striker. So I would train him as a complete striker. Sergi Roberto. Here his main position is set to right back and his secondary is a center midfield. I would just switch him around. His real main position is a center midfielder and right back is his secondary. After that, for his personal growth, you can't see it here because he's currently set as a right back. But once you make him a center midfielder, then go with box to box. So yeah, go with box to box. Marcos Alonso, no need to train for extra positions. He plays the left back, center back. And for the personal growth, the one that would probably be the best would be attacking wide. And for Joao Cancelo, he's got the left back, right back, and right midfield. I would also train him as a left wing back and a right wing back and include the left midfielder. And regardless of what position he's playing, you're gonna wanna go with anything related to inverted, okay? Alex Garrido, his main and only position is a center midfield. His main play style is best known as a roaming playmaker. 
So I would rotate him between balanced and playmaker. What that means is I would train him for balance for one or two months, then I'd switch over to playmaker one or two months, and then I'd go back and forth, back and forth. All right, Alex Valle, his main position is a left back, left wing back. So I would probably just train him as a left back and have his main position to be a left wing back. But when it comes to his growth, what you want to do is focus on inverted wing back because that is his style. Kwame Cuellar. So his main position is actually on the left hand side. I know right here it says it's on the right hand side. And you might want to train him as a center midfield as well, even though it says it's going to take 192 weeks. That is his secondary position. And for his personal growth, I would go for inverted wide midfielder. Since he likes to score goals and plays a more of an attacking role. All right, and Angin Alarcon, his main positions are already included. So for his personal development plan, this, you should set it up as a mobile striker because of his speed and his ability to score from the wing as well as down the middle. All right, Hector Ford. So he's pretty tall for a right back. So he actually plays a center back as a secondary position in La Masia. So I would trade his secondary position as a center back. In fact, I'm going to do that right now. And once you're done with that, make sure you train him back to a right back or right wing back. And then you're going to want to set it as balanced because he's really well on defense and on attacking. So you want to set it up as balanced. So Paulo Torre, he is currently on loan, but I do see they did get his positions correctly. So you're probably not going to have to retrain him in, in any of those areas. And most likely what I would do, I can't see it here, but I would just train him as an attacking midfielder. All right, Fermin Lopez, his main position is an attacking midfielder. I've set him up as a cam. His secondary position includes the center midfield and the left wing forward. Now I'm currently training him as a left wing forward. Then I'm going to train him as a center midfielder. And when I'm done with that, for his personal growth, I would train him as an attacking mid. And finally, for Julian Arrajo, he's currently on loan. But once he comes back, you're going to want to train him as a right wing back. As far as his personal growth, you let me know what you think would be the best one in the comment section. Victor Roque. His main position is a striker. I'm currently training him back as a striker, as his main position. His secondary position would be a center forward where Joao Felix plays. I have a feeling that's where Xavi is going to be placing him because Lewandowski is most likely going to still be starting. So he'll probably be rotating with Joao Felix. So if you're using my Xavi tactics, just put him where I would put Joao Felix which means you want to make sure you get that center forward training in there. Now for his other positions, you're going to want to train him as a right wing forward and a left wing forward because he does play those as well. As far as his individual growth, I would set this up as balanced, but I would be rotating him between balanced and a pressing forward. He's a really good pressing forward. So I would set this up for a few months, go back to balance, and then every now and then do pressing forward for a few months because he is a good pressing forward. Unai Hernandez, his main position is a center midfielder. His secondary would be a cam, an attacking midfielder. And as you can see, I'm currently training him as a left wing forward as well. That would be his third position. And once this is done for his personal growth, I would go for attacking midfielder. Kuim Ju Yent. His main position is also a center midfield and his secondary position would be a cam. And I would also set him up as an attacking midfielder. Now, Danny Rodriguez, his main position is a left wing forward. His secondary position would be a right wing forward. And as you can see, he has a third position, which would be a cam, an attacking midfielder. That's what I'm currently training him for. Then I would revert him back to a left wing forward. So once he's trained back to a left wing forward, what you want to do on the personal growth and set it up as an inverted winger, which I will not do now because I'm still training him as a cam. But once he's done training as a cam, what I would do is set him up as an advanced playmaker. It's not here because he has to finish training as a cam. Once he's done finishing as a cam, you're going to get the option for advanced playmaker. Go with that. Lamine Yamal, his main position is a right wing forward and his secondary would be a left wing forward. And since he's so young, I'm currently training him as balanced, but also because he does cover the different roles of a winger. 
He inverts, he plays wide, he does support the winger, and he's a wide playmaker, so balance is the best way to go with Lamin Yamal. All right, Paul Kubarsi. His main position is a center back. He doesn't really have a secondary position. I have him trained as balance, not just because he's young, but he's well-rounded. So he's pretty much good at all these different roles. So it's best to get a little bit of all. So balance would be the best for him. This dude is the real deal. He's only 16 years old. You're going to be seeing him in the future. He's one of the best center backs to come out of the La Masia in a long time. Mark Bernal. His main position is a CDM, but he also plays well as an interior midfielder. So you could trade him as a CM for his secondary position. He's actually pretty good on attack too. So you can actually throw in there a cam as his third position. But since he is so good at all positions of the midfield, you might want to eventually train him a lot as balanced. But as you can see, I currently have him as an anchor man because that's going to be his main role. So I want to give emphasis to these traits first before I start training him balanced and his secondary positions. So Pau Prim, his main position is a CDM and his secondary is center midfield. I know it's backwards there, but as you can see, I'm currently retraining him as a CDM to be his main position. I would say he's more like a deep line orchestrator. So that would probably best translate into individually training him as a playmaker. So that would probably best translate into rotating him when it comes to his personal growth between a playmaker and a central midfielder. I would just keep on rotating that. Okay, so Noah Darvich, his main position is a cam, an attacking midfielder. His secondary positions would be a right wing forward and a center midfielder. So what you wanna do is set him up as an attacking midfielder. I currently have it as balanced because he's so young, but eventually you wanna give him the attacking midfielder trait. All right, thank you so much for watching. I strongly recommend you use my shabby tactics in complement with this tutorial. That's gonna be available for you on the lower left. And folks, don't forget to check the comment section for updates. And while you're there, leave a nice comment. And finally, check out my career mode. It's available on the lower right. You guys take care and have a good day.